everyone, I'm Terry, and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've done my last video. We've had some delays and some shipments but um, to do some of my DIYs. But honestly, I, I wanted to tell you guys, I don't want to create a DIY that's not something that's really thought out and planned. I want to give you quality videos. The DIYs that I typically do, I actually either use the products or I display the decor that I do. So I don't want to just rush and do a DIY video just to have a video. I want it to be perfect so that it's perfect for you guys. Having said that, in today's video, I actually was inspired by a Pinterest photo and I'm really excited to try it because it's a little different than what I normally do. Now, I don't own a Lady Dior purse. Um, I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> They're pretty expensive. This DIY, I think even if I had a Lady Dior purse, I would not do it on that purse. <laughs> but what I did find was something very similar to the Lady Dior purse. And I found this on Amazon and I thought it was exactly what I wanted. So it had the handles and it had the shape and it had the quilting that I needed for this DIY. It does have a little belt with it. I think it even has, it has a little charm, which I'm not gonna use, but I probably won't even use the belt. But um, it's a decent sized purse. I think it's pretty decent. Um, so carries more than a phone. <laughs> so anyway, I'm excited to try it. I also got some things from AliExpress and if you've ever ordered from AliExpress, it, it takes a little bit for their products to come in, but when they do come in, they're definitely worth the wait. I did get this scarf and this is what we're going to use on the purse. And then I also got a lot of flat back pearls. So I got flat back black pearls and then I also got some flat back um, gold pearls. And that's besides your E6000, that is all we need for this project. I'm really excited to get started on this, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the largest gold pearls. We're gonna just try it where the X's meet. We're just gonna make a little five X marks. So this is what I've done so far. The purse on the Pinterest was a lot smaller, so this had a lot more workspace. I'm gonna have to kind of work around it and make it work. I'm gonna treat four of these squares as if it was one of the squares.
of go back and forth on different phases. Um, I've done, I pulled all the center gold pieces off because I decided that's not gonna work. It's okay, all of it's gonna get covered anyway. This is, this is before I start doing the crisscrosses. Now this, on this side, I've started to do the crisscrosses and then I've also started to fill in the four big main squares with the flat back pearls. Now on these, on the inside, I've gone in back and forth. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do this. I've had to pull off crystals and put them back on, but um, I think this is exactly where I want it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this square so that they're all four pearls. And then these I'm going to fill with the, actually with the, with the mixes of the black rhinestone flatbacks. So we're gonna use those instead. And like I said, I'm gonna go back and forth on the different phases that I go from one side to the other side. So as one dries, I can work on the other side, but at least you can kind of get an idea of what it's eventually going to look like. And I will advise you when you do this, take your time because you really wanna match these lines as best you can. I mean, it's, it's not easy. Um, I did the best I could. <laughs> it's, it, it'll all get camouflaged, so it'll be okay. Once it dries, it's not easy to pull off. So I have had to pull off some because it was crooked or I didn't like the way it looked. Or At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this last diamond um, filled with pearls. And I'm just mixing it up. I'm not doing any specific pattern on this one. I'm just kind of mixing it up. After it's all done, I'll take a wipe and clean it all up because there is a lot of glue gunk everywhere but that's okay because it'll 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 clean up Okay guys, we're going to switch over now to this side. And we're gonna start the checkered part on this one. Now the checkers are going to be on the outside one, middle one. wiggle them around before they dry. You've got a little bit of time to play with it and adjust it.
All right, guys, we're on day four. Actually ran out of the gold. So now I'm gonna finish the rest of the checkered part. all the checkers are completed and all four of the pearl squares are done and now the last thing we need to do is fill in all of these with the black rhinestones I don't want to bore you guys so I'm just gonna do one section just to show you how I do it and be able to show you the final results I am using the two two and a half three and four millimeter rhinestones Here's that section done. I just wanted to show you how it's done, but I'm gonna do the rest off camera just because this is, it'll be a long video if I record the whole thing and I'll show you when it's all done, what it's gonna look like. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, oops, I'm gonna wrap this scarf on one side of the handles.
guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. The purse came out exactly as I had hoped and I'm really looking forward to using it. Um, I think it'll be, a, a, it actually is very elegant so I can see me using it for an evening out. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It really will help my channel. And I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. And until next time, bye-bye.